Mr. Tata, Vilain from India today, sir. Is it the ownership fight, sir? Sir, please, sir. Oh, and do, do, are you heading to a legal fight, sir? Do reaction, sir. 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 A dramatic announcement and a day of hectic activity as Bombay House was buzzing with media and the whispers of the mystery behind the group's 48-year-old chairman Cyrus Mistry being replaced by Ratan Tata. The seeds were sown in 1930. The two families that came together under circumstance that generated from Tata Group's own doing. The mysteries and the Tatas, the former being a construction conglomerate, while the latter then a struggling steel business. Cyrus Mystery's grandfather, Shapurji Palonji Mystery, was an eminent builder who bought 12.5% in Tata's main holding company from F.E. Dinshaw in 1930. When Shapurji sharpened his business skills to enhance his stake in Tata's sons, young J.R.D. objected but failed to stop him. In 1938, Shapurji held 17.5% in Tata Sons, while the Tata Trust held around 80% stake, but the undercurrent was evident. JRD was ever cautious of Shapurji's rising stake. He took over as the chairman of Tata Group in 1938 and tried consolidating his family's hold over the business, keeping the family trust intact that held 80% of Tata Sons and laying more credence on the brand Tata to ensure that it was the Tata family who led the empire. Shapurji Palonji was smart enough to hold his peace, knowing that his stake was no match for JRD's might. But in a bid to exercise more influence, his granddaughter was married to Noel Tata, Ratan Tata's half-brother. It was when childless JRD decided to hang up his boots and chose the young Ratan Tata in 1991 that the mysteries realized that they were still the outsiders. Ratan had been chosen over Noel Tata, shattering Mystery's dream of leading the Tata group as the largest individual shareholders of the conglomerate. And joining us live now is Principal Correspondent uh, Devina Gupta, who's been tracking the story very, very closely. Uh, you know, Devina, what's the view from the government? We do know that Ratan Tata, uh, you know, wrote a letter to Prime Minister Modi as well about, uh, you know, the, the changes uh, at the Tata group. What are you hearing from within the finance ministry and the government on these big changes? Well, Shiv, what we can tell our viewers at the moment is that there are speculations Cyrus Mystery could be headed uh, here in the capital. And before that, let me take our viewers through what we've been reporting on the ownership stake. Uh, where is the real battle which lies at the moment? Because the ownership is where we're seeing uh, uh, Shapurji Polanji Group uh, and the Tata Group going ahead on. So you have Tata Trust with 66% is how the ownership stake is. Shapurji Polanji at 18.5%. Yeah. Other Tata Group companies, that's 15.5%. So where we left off, Shiv, was uh, at the point uh, about uh, the Tata family tree where Ratan Tata had taken over from JRD and you had uh, Cyrus Mistry on his part becoming the uh, uh, on board of Shapurji Polonji group and later becoming the MD. Let's right. take our viewers through what exactly happened after that, the rest of the Tata Mystery saga. Interestingly, Ratan Tata and Cyrus Mistry have seen parallel careers. When young Ratan Tata took on from JRD in 1992, young Cyrus Mistry was appointed at the board of Shapurji Palonji and Company and later MD. While Ratan Tata looked at restructuring the group and driving acquisitions abroad, Mistry spent 60 crore rupees to maintain their stake in Tata Sons inching up to 18.5% in Tata Sons. Not only that, even when TCS went public in 2003, Mistry cut a deal that yielded him huge profits when the company listed. No wonder then Cyrus was chosen to take his father's place in Tata Sons board when he stepped down in 2005. And within six years, saw a meteoric rise gaining favour not only with Ratan Tata, but with the board. 
the second person from outside Tata family to head the group in 142 years for the first time being handed over the crown by a committee rather than the king only. And Cyrus Mystery got down to work. Mystery's cost cutting and changes actually angered many people including the old guard. Tata Steel Europe decided to sell UK assets in April, a controversial decision that may have been one of the big triggers. Apart from this, Indian Hotels Company was sold to Taj Boston in July, a coupled with the legal battle with Japanese telecom venture Docomo. Tata Motors' failed car launches were the high-profile flashpoints between Cyrus Mistry and the board of the Tata Group, Tata Sons. While Cyrus Mistry soldiered on, he went ahead with quick decisions, cost-cutting, shutting operations which rubbed many. Signs were given out early this August. As the company faced headwinds of falling revenues, Tata board was expanded with experienced industrialist Piramil Group's Ajay Piramal and TVS Motor Chairman Vino Srinivasan inducted in the board. We've got the inside track on what really happened leading to Cyrus P. Mistry's exit. The Tata Sun's old guard, several different patriarchs were unhappy with the growth rate of the Tata Group. It's a reclusive group but always has enjoyed high growth. Clash of ideologies between the young and the old and the work style between old and new generations is something that was simply brewing within the Tata Group. Revenue dropped from 108 billion in 2015 to 103 billion in 2016 could have been one of the more immediate triggers. Market cap had declined to 116 billion under Cyrus Mistry. Mishandling of the NTT Docomo issue is something that received widespread negative press, not just in India, but around the world. Acquisition of Wellspun Group, seen as overpriced by old timers, something that Cyrus Mistry was hugely criticized for. The aggressive disposal of non-profitable businesses is something that the Tata Trust did not like at all. So as things move forward for the Tata Group, Cyrus P. Mystery is out. The big question now is going to be, will stability actually return to the Tata Group under the interim leadership of Ratan Tata? So far, the core group formed by Cyrus Mystery has been disbanded. But will there be legal route taken by Shapurji Palonji, which continues to be the second biggest shareholder in Tata Sons, remains to be seen. In its first statement, the Palonji group scotched the speculation that Cyrus Mistry would be approaching High Court. However, this has not stopped the Tatars from filing caveats in Supreme Court, Bombay High Court and the National Company Law Tribunal to prevent the Mistries from getting an ex parte order. There is no word yet what actually triggered the boardroom pattern, but according to the sources, the sell-off of Tata Steel UK was a major concern. Second, he focused on the new businesses rather than consolidating the old companies. And most importantly, he never took in confidence and rubbed the old guards in a wrong way. So while mystery steps down and Ratan Tata makes a comeback, a new panel has been formed where Ratan Tata is part of the decision to select the next chairman by February 2017. But with many names doing the rounds, will they experiment once again with Tata less label this time? Bureau Report, India Today.